Hi friends, welcome to our channel Life is to Live. This is Dr. Ed Shekhar in front of you. As I promised in the earlier video, I came here with our English grammar series of videos. The first video is on sentence and kinds of sentences. To be frank, to start with English grammar, we have to learn what is a sentence and what are the different kinds of sentences. Actually, to start with grammar, any language starts with the alphabet. In English, we have 26 alphabet. In English, we have 26 alphabet, we all know that. They are vowels and consonant. See, we have to use these alphabet to make words or sentences. Basically, from alphabet, we can make words. Mean word is a meaningful combination of letters that makes sense is called word. We need such kind of words to make phrases. Phrase is a group of words which make some sense but not complete sense. And we can use with the use of phrases we can make clause. See here, word is just like as rose, table, like that. See for example, these combination of letters make a meaningful word. See such kind of words, for example, a great emperor. See here, a great emperor. These three words make a phrase. That means a great emperor which makes some sense but not complete sense. See, clause is one which have a subject and a predicate. Along with this phrase, if it contains a subject and verb that makes a clause. For example, Ashoka was a great emperor. Here, Ashoka was a great emperor. See, along with this phrase, we have a verb, we have a subject. So, this phrase along with verb makes predicate and subject is a subject. See, this is called a clause, a main clause we can call. It can be called as a sentence also sentence. So, sentence has a subject part and a predicate part. But sentence has two parts actually. See, one is subject, subject part and second one is predicate part. See, here we can take as an example. See, this is Ashoka, the part which contains the noun or pronoun or a zarad, about which, about whom, about what we are talking, is called a subject. The part is called subject part. The remaining part, which contains a verb definitely, along with that verb, there may be certain words which explain something about the subject. This entire part is called a predicate. Predicate and subject total, this is called a sentence. Sentence has two parts like this. Like this, we have a different, this is what sentence actually. Basic unit, when we communicate, we use this sentence. But there are different kinds in a sentence. We must know what are the different kinds of sentences to make ourselves, our communication meaningful. So, for men, the first kind of sentence is assertive or declarative sentence. Assertive or declarative sentence. See, assertive, giving a statement. Declarative, declaring something. See, these sentences, for example, Ashoka was a great emperor. Here, 
This is a simple statement. Ashoka was an emperor. It declares that he was an emperor. It asserts that he was an emperor. See here, we have a subject and a predicate. It is a sentence which generally starts with a capital letter, ends with full stop. This is called an assertive sentence. So, assertive sentence is a one which gives a statement or declares something. Okay, we can mention some other sentence also. For example, rose is a beautiful flower. So, rose is a beautiful flower. It is an assertion. It is a statement. So, general statement, simple statements are called assertive or declarative sentences. And second type of sentence is imperative. Imperative sentence. See, imperative, here we have to uh, know about three characteristics. The sentence which is a request, which has a command, which has a wish. See, for example, a wish, request or a command. Any sentence which has a wish or a request or a command is called an imperative sentence. So that means, see a sentence which is used to express a wish, to make a request or to give a command or an order is called imperative sentence. For example, a wish. May God bless you. May God bless you. So, it is a wish. So, wish is uh, comes under the category of imperative sentence. Another example, uh, for example, a request. Please give me a glass of water. Please give me a glass of water. See here, as it is starting with please, it is a request. Okay, next command. Command, see here, for example. Shut the door. Isn't it? Shut the door. Close the door, something like that. It is an order. So, either a wish or a request or an order, these are called imperative sentences. And the third one is interrogative. interrogative sentence the sent the name itself is indicative interrogative asking something the sentence which is used to ask a question is called interrogative sentence generally these sentences may start with a questioning word wh word for example what are you do you know? Isn't it? See, in, mean, in interrogative sentence may start with a WH word and ends with a question mark. Even they may be start with a B form. For example, are you a student? Like this. Either with a WH word or a B form, it starts with and ends with a, a question mark. These are interrogative sentences. Interrogative to ask something. And the last type of sentence is exclamatory. Exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence is one which is used to express sudden feelings of happy, sad, sadness or surprise. Isn't it? See, happy, sadness or surprise. Sudden feelings of happiness, sadness or surprise. We can use these exclamatory sentences. For example, 
Hurry! I got first rank. See, someone who could not expect uh, oh, first rank, but he got first rank. So, to express that sudden feeling, he is using this expression. And uh, see, sad feeling, for example, a loss. He died in the accident. A loss, he died in the accident. A loss is a word which expresses sudden feeling of sadness, isn't it? And surprise, oh God, I forgot my purse. Yeah, see here, oh God, oh is a feeling to express sudden surprise. See, for example, uh, I, I thought that I had uh, brought my purse, but at the time of when I checked my pocket, uh, I couldn't find it. So, I got surprised. Oh God, I forgot my purse. How can I pay the bill? See here, a loss. See, expression of sad feeling. A loss. He died in the accident. And this is expression of a happy feeling. See, like this, we have three feelings, either happy, sad, or surprise can be expressed by using these exclamatory sentences. Like this, we have four kinds of sentences that is basically we are supposed to understand. Okay, first type, assertive, second type, imperative, third type, interrogative, and fourth type, exclamatory. Why we have to understand these things? Because while we speak, we have to express the feelings exactly. Whatever we are writing and whatever we are expressing should be synchronized. See, for example, while we want to express happiness, it has to be expressed. For example, hurry! I got first prize. That is what expression of happiness. In the same manner, a loss. He died in the accident. That is the feeling of sadness. Oh God, I forgot my purse. Like that, if you know the kind of sentence, then only you can express exactly. So that is, for example, here, it is a request, it is an order. See, there should be difference while we are using these things. For example, we cannot say, please give me a glass of water. Like that we can't use. Because it is a request, has to be used as a request. Please, can you get me a glass of water? Like that. In the same manner, shut the door. It is an order. So, order should be authoritative. Just like a shut the door. Like that. But not shut the door. Isn't it? When can it happen? When you know what are these sentences? What kind of sentence it is? And what sort of feeling it is expressing? That is most important. So that is why we have to know there are four kinds of sentences. Whenever we want to express something, we must know what sort of sentence we are using and what sort of feeling it has to be expressed. If we use like that, then only we can have effective communication. For doing another thing, for going further with English grammar, basically we have to understand these four types of sentences. Isn't it? So, I think you might have understood what these first series of a grammar video. This is about sentence and kinds of sentences. You have to understand it. I hope you could understand it. If you have any doubts or queries, you can share with us in the comment box. And all of you must remember that subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also clicking on the bell button to subscribe our channel so that you can get the updated videos, the series of videos we are going to update. If you subscribe to the channel so that you can get the um, what is called indications, notifications about the upload of our uh, channel. So if you have any doubts regarding that, uh, you, you can, you can, you can uh, contact us. Thank you. Wish you all the best.